<laughs> this is called Little Hum. This is an oldie. So there is your collarbone, bone bridging out your body like something strung between two points above a river somewhere. So there you are as well, sleeping. Be careful. There is a river running through your body and I don't want you to drown. It's okay, close your eyes. Morning is just another word for the blood that rushes to a wound before it becomes a bruise. Morning won't last all day and you will get your hair cut and maybe I will see you again. It's okay, you won't drown. Your body is the soft rhythm of a brush brushing along a snare. Your body pulses and quivers like a bird. You are a bird. You are a bird in my bed. Hi, bird. Listen to the other birds calling their annoying little calls. Look at you nesting in my bed. Hi, bird. It's okay. These are just my hands reaching out to touch you. Don't fly away. You're too sleepy anyway, and there are so many sheets to push aside. Ones you have gathered round like twigs and bits of bark. It's okay. These are just my lips softing through the sky, and the sky is just a shorter word for what keeps us bound to one another. I just want to kiss your collarbone, that's all. I have to leave soon. You can stay if you want. There are other birds outside and you have a prettier voice than all of them. When I get home, I hope they are each singing your song. Cool. Yeah, thank you. How's everyone doing today? Up in the nosebleeds. <laughs> What if my nose started, what if everyone's, uh, never mind. <laughs> and <laughs> this one's called, I have so many problems, you say. I have so many problems, you say. And you do. And me too. I am trying to teach myself how to love better. It begins with my body, I've heard. No more pints of cookie dough in those minutes before bed. But I don't want to care anymore about my body. I only want to touch you a little longer and feed you ice cream like it's the last cow they've milked. Maybe love is only the act of being for just another minute somewhere outside the self. When I worked at the cemetery, I thought I'd spend my afternoons dreaming about death. I never did. My feet plodded the grassy blanket of the buried, and I grew horny and hungry. I'm not ashamed of anything other than how I failed you. When you turn to me in bed and ask my hand to scratch your back, I don't do it long enough. I have so many problems, you say. I am stubborn, I am tired, I am always aching with the many spectrum pain of the children I teach. I only want to be excited about one thing for one day and not dream of losing it in the future. Here, I say, have this last bite of ice cream. I made sure it cradled a piece of dough. You are patient, you are kind. These breaths serve often as reprieves from other breaths. We are not dead yet. One day we will be, and we will have forever to unworry ourselves from life while what elephants remain play trumpets for whoever's still alive. Stubbornness in the face of all we are faced to lose is only human. Like love, this life is a dream we will unwake to. I have so many problems, too. I don't know how to be better at being myself, to write poems that don't go on forever, to stop unquitting cigarettes, to drink a little less. But if God is here or not, I know there will be at least another cow and one more pint after the last pint. There will surely be regret and the same spoon our bodies make in bed. Like love, this life is too sweet and blue not to dream of another day. Please don't go to sleep just yet. I am not tired of loving you. Thank you.